Thanks for staying with us. So, over the weekend, we came across the story of a female student of the University of Nigeria, Nsuka, who has been threatened with expulsion after she went almost nude to dance at an event at the school premises. Now, many people may not have seen this video. If you're a parent out there, I doubt you've seen this, but I think it's, I'm not sure we're going to play it because we cannot we can't play it. No, we can blur, we can blur part of it, but this, this young girl was obviously dancing. I mean, <clears throat> if, you, if you want to define naked, I think this is, what, this, this, this is, this is practically naked. Mm -hmm. she, she, it was really disturbing to see. But um, the question really is, um, yes, she did something that can be seen as inappropriate, mm -hmm. of course, in school. Mm -hmm. But there was, a, there, was a, there was a school official that then was angry in his outburst about what she did. And he said that she destroyed humanity. <laughs> he said she should be persecuted and also expelled. The question, therefore, is, I mean, because we see, we understand his anger and outburst. But what is the right um, thing to do? What's the right um, thing for a school to do in this kind of situation? What, what are your thoughts on this? I'd like to hear from the parents, family. For those of you who have seen the video, as I said, I can't show it on TV. It's inappropriate. But it's a, it's a young girl dancing almost naked in a school event. So all her, all her classmates were there hailing her, and she was there going all naked. Of course, school authorities were upset about it. So mm. what are your thoughts on this? How best should the school do? Should they expel her? Should she be somehow, you know, counseled somehow back into the, 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 the school community? What are your thoughts on this? Call us on 81 270 Five three six eight seven two. Uh, also, the second number is zero nine one three nine zero seven six nine four eight. You can also send us messages on YouTube and Facebook. We'd like mm. to hear your thoughts on this. I'm talk I'd like this morning to hear from parents. Yeah. Our children are in the universities. <laughs> we know what we did in universities. You know, we, you have this freedom to do, but mm. social media wasn't there. Yes. Because if we if so much social media was there, Forget then it. there are some things that mm. you'll see. Mm. So social media is here now. So your kids are mm. there doing stuff. And yeah. the, the, the school is saying they want you have you know, There are some things we did not do. Mm. Even we did not uh, do. Uh, even no, in no, the I, midst of it, we did not uh, do yes, it. Yes, but our level uh, is not the uh, same uh, level like we have. Yes, so we did not this do is it. a university. Okay, I think on our certificates across universities, there's something called worthy. After being found worthy, worthy yeah. you are supposed to be schooled and educated. It's beyond just you know just That's getting a degree. I remember in last student when we heard about nine people who were found and somewhere. Um, convicted, some had been found in so, some behavior and some sort of de defrauded school or something, and they recalled their degrees. That means you're already in your workplace and your, your workplace is written to that this mm -hmm. person no longer has a degree from this university because they no longer represent the values of the school. Mm -hmm. So your degree is not something you just... If you had gone to a club and she was videoed and sent to school, it's a different matter. Mm -hmm. This was within school premises. premises. Yeah. What behavior is this mm -hmm. one now again? <laughs> You know, the organizers of the event, and according to the report, the report they said it was for 10,000 naira. Jesus. The dancing was to win 10,000, and she just oh. went balabala bala because of it. <laughs> ah, it's okay, oh, that's all right. All right so, let, me, let me see them come to you. You, you know, know? Um, the reason we have uh, morals taught in primary, secondary school is so that you can, the, the parents will help to shape the child in their formative years. Yeah. Because when you get to the university, it's like no man's land. Nobody trains you in the university. You're supposed to have sense and train yourself. You're supposed to be moderate in everything you do so that you represent the school. Um, for a young lady to you know, throw caution to the wind and do that sort of dance, um, while I blame her and she's going to take responsibility for her actions, I also blame the, the people around her because mm. naturally we Nigerians were enablers. Mm. People were there laughing, Clapping. taking videos, snapping, hailing her, and she was doing it. Mm. If when she started that sort of dance, everybody just walked away. She would have looked around, she wouldn't see anybody, and then she would stop. We are always enabling people do certain things and then go back and judge them. Um, I also understand that when you get into the university, you have a code of conduct handed to you. I think our handbook or something. Yes, and then you're supposed to follow all the mm. rules mm -hmm. and guidelines and everything. Um, I'm sure she had that as a university, so most of us did not read it anyway. We don't know no, what's inside. <laughs> but it's still her responsibility to, you can still dance and shake your you know, booty in a certain way. Yeah. Moderation for Without whatever reason naked. it is. And now that you have done it, I do not agree with the punishment. I feel it's okay. too, yes, I feel it's too much 
for the crime. I feel, you know, sometimes when things happen like this as parents, we just come, hey, 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 and you talk out of anger. But I think she needs to be called in. She needs to be counseled. She needs to, even if it's community service, but going all the way to expel because okay. the name of your school has been mentioned and you feel no, it's an embarrassment. I think it's too much. It's a major school. I know. That is one of the top schools in Nigeria. I, I mean, know. I think that's where even uh, the first goes, indigenous goes. university. That's yeah. why it's called the University of Nigeria. So it's so is that pain. So Bush. this is not just any school. Mm. This is UNA. So for me, um, the first thing that came to my mind is um, there was an orientation week <laughs> that everybody in any school must go through. Really? Many people skip it, but we don't understand it, mm. how important it is. It is at that orientation where they give you the handbook yeah. and they explain what is in it. So for the school, I would not want the school to act out of emotion or yeah. anger. Yeah. Every offense has a punishment yes. as recommended in the handbook. Yet, every student can contest this, the offense and say, this punishment, even though it's in the handbook, I don't believe I deserve it. I would prefer other form of punishment mm. meted out to me. I believe that, should be, that part should be dealt with. But then let's talk about the moral compass. The fact that both the dancer and every enabler around yes, all are guilty of the moral compass. Look at the situation. When I saw that dance, I know this person was not dancing with clear eye. You don't mm -hmm. dance that kind of dance, dance with clear eye. Influence. There's mm -hmm. influence. When we say don't drink or don't use drugs, there are reasons because you are unable to control your impulse. Things you probably will be unable to do with your same eye, clear eye. You do it because you are no longer in control of your faculties. These are things that happen. If this girl ends up dropping out of school after the years and her children, it is, I mean, her parents have invested into her. Uh. It is simply because she went under influence, did things she shouldn't have done, and I feel very bad for her, and I feel, very, and I feel, very, and I feel that she shouldn't be the only one punished. Everyone at that event, the people Even the organizers. When people go, when people go mad, them. Mariah, we used to live in a society when people go mad. And the person goes naked. They don't give you the nakedness. No, they no. carry clothes they cover, cover the person. Mm -hmm. That's the culture we have. They That's fall. the culture we should have. Not anymore. So when you see a girl, you know, starts doing, uh, this is behaving inappropriate, you cover the girl. But what we're doing now is we record it. We are moving and we need to bring ourselves back. Every time we have this conversation is to bring ourselves back to this is what our standards should be. Mm. Maybe we are forgetting because of Do social we media. Have standards? Let's remind okay, ourselves. Are we, are we, are we, are we being to people critical? Let me tell you why. Because mm. the truth is that when you get into that university, you're free. It's freedom. There was freedom. I mean, freedom. And you just want to just do things. Explore. Yes, you have your moral compass pulling you back. Mm. But you want to do things. I mean, I mean I, I, we've all shared different experiences, but. Our own time, there wasn't social media. Mm. I mean, that, that I mean, if, if I think of some of the things I have done in university, then I, I think I mentioned it before that my, some of my friends went to a nude beach in Florida. Mm. Yeah, I think I, I, I just didn't have enough confidence in myself. Oh, mm. to go, no, that's me. That's me. Oh, that's but all, going. Me, nude all my friends, mm -hmm. we all, they all did, they, they complied. <laughs> Except nude for me. Beach. And the only reason why I didn't comply was because I didn't have enough confidence in myself at the time. Mm. My body, I, didn't, I, just, I, I didn't feel that I was there. So that's what, but if I felt I was there, I'll probably have complied. Right. So you are in the university and there is a you, new You didn't do it inside the school. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying that if we're not hypo, I don't want us to be hypocritical in the sense that we all do things. Mm. But where, where are we drawing the line? We say that do those things outside mm. so and respect the inside of the even university. Legally, that's what we're saying. There's, there's an offense for public misconduct. Certain mm. things are not allowed in public. Mm -hmm. You know this thing they call loving, mm. uh, public PDA. display of uh, PDA. Mm. Yeah. It's, there's a line. Before you know it, you have committed an offense, even in Lagos State. Mm. So those things you can do in your private. You can dance like crazy, twerk. shake bum bum, twerk like you could. All those things, it's supposed to be for your private. Mm. If they were in a club, an enclosed place, the organizers are doing, if they like, they should give her one naira for, the, for whatever she did. Whatever justification she has is okay. But the moment it can be an offense, to yeah. another person's sight. Mm -hmm. Like this man, you can see he stuttered through his... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he destroyed humanity. He destroyed humanity and humanhood. You will see yeah. that the man was obviously uh, shocked and, you know, uh, disorganized. He did not even no put his thoughts no. together yeah. and saying, and at some point, he started talking like the school. I would ensure, <laughs> as if he was busy. But that's how offensive certain Sorry. behaviors are. So people must learn the public conduct as and well as private conduct. A lot of things you can get away with in your houses, mm -hmm. with your family, but it's not for public uh, view. Okay, let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we'll take some phone calls and read some messages from the Stay With Us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. 
Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So we're still discussing this matter. Now, we've discussed what happened. Now, is the, what is the appropriate punishment in this situation? So we saw the man had that outburst. And you, you had said that they should call her and have a conversation. But we're talking about that a lot of young people in schools do these things privately. Mm. So are we saying it's okay for them to do it outside? And the issue is that it's been done in the school. It was disrespecting the school institution that it's been done in, inside. Mm -hmm. But are we being hypocritical? Because whether you like it or not, these young ladies are doing stuff. Many of them are dressing half naked to clubs anyway. Yeah. They're all, you know, <laughs> going, doing escorts work for all these big guys, mm -hmm. you know. So these young university young girls, are, are they are over adventurers yeah. at this point. So, so for me, yeah, I think we need to start learning how to give Caesar what is Caesar's and give God what is God's. <laughs> When you come to a place, you should act you, appropriately for room. that place. We see uh, celebrities abroad who on set will wear nets, wear different things because they are acting a role. Those same celebrities, when they are meeting the president and the governors and all that, they suit up. The one that should have had. <laughs> Serious suiting up That's because all. it's appropriate to dress that way for the position or for the environment that you find yourself. That's so if you come to a school environment, there are ethics that you must follow. That shows that you are intelligent, you are emotionally intelligent, you are I paying are attention, grounded. you are grounded, you know what's up. If you go to the club and you decide to twerk naked, that's a different thing, that's the club. Nobody will fault you for that because you have decided to do that where it is appropriate. If you go to the nude beach and you decide to wear booba, people will be looking at you. Is this person okay? Because it's not appropriate for that position. So if we can get things right in such a way, it's not about being hypocritical. Mm. It's about this is not the place for this. Mm. And I would fault their friend, her friends. Because, you know, when she you didn't are have going, any friend. In the whole school. She did, if she had a friend, no. you would have covered no. her. If you have friends, friends. friends. No, 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 the school should just give her a little bit of punishment to embarrass her, not to send her away. Yeah, I agree. It is not a criminal offense per se. It is an embarrassment. In the center, in the so center. Probably a though. serious community service mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. the school. Yeah. Those people that want to send her away probably were called thieves too when they were in school. They still human beings. She did not kill anybody. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Everyone. That's a, so that's a little thank bit you. of thank you, everyone. So she didn't commit a crime. Yeah. She, yeah, she did. A position, she yeah, did. Yeah, in this she did. Um, minor crime. In this set exposure, mm -hmm. yes, I understand that. But she didn't kill anybody. I mean, mm -hmm. that's what you're trying to say. That this yes, is their ways not... of uh, making sure people like this are so. Are so bringing us punished. to first, let me quickly just say that she does not have any friend because we, we pray. That if any at any point in time we want to embarrass ourselves, mm, because that God will me. give us friends <laughs> that will prevent us you. from embarrassing and ourselves. So she didn't have friends. Number one. Number two is that yes, there is a lot of debate on the gravity of the punishments that has been hinted that she might be expelled or prosecuted, rusticated. rusticated. Those for me are very very strong words to use here. Oh, I believe like that. that she should be punished. Because when we don't, we set precedents. A lot really of the things that have been happening is because one person did it and got away with it, so I can try it. So mm. if we don't create punitive measures for issues that we don't want, if whatever we don't want to promote, we must make a decision to publicly. Way, isn't go her away behavior from it. also an indictment on the school? Because you can't try that in a kind of communal university. No, no, like no, you no, know no, that no, this, no, no. this school, I can't, you can't try that. Yeah, you so so know the kind of school that you are in. Yeah, so maybe even in the school. Itself, even in the school, it's not an indictment on the school because if it is an indictment, it would have been a normal thing. It's not normal. Everybody, would be Everybody frowned at it, so mm. it was not a normal thing. So they, if they don't want it to become normal, they need to punish this very well yes. so that nobody else will try it yes, again. Exactly. But like I would say, let it be a public embarrassing thing. Maybe she's sweeping the she floor sweep the or she's washing the toilets. She's washing all the toilets every day in a way that is really, really bad. Come and help me. No, somebody will force it. Yes. Let me take this call. Good morning. Are you there, Mohammed? Are you there? Right, you're listening to the TV, Mohammed. Are you there? Yeah, I'm with you. You're live. Go ahead, please. Yeah. Good mor morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good I'm morning. We can corner. hear you. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Yes, I, uh, I wanted contributing to this very 
important case. Yes. Yeah. The, yeah. So what I my contribution? Yeah, my contribution. Yeah. You are listening to the TV. I'm follow. I'm following the program. My contribution is that when we view our environment, uh, considering the social ills. I have to disconnect the call. He's listening to the TV. We have I also want us to focus on the organizers of the program. Exactly. You're organizing a program in an institution like that. You should have, you should have ethics. When he, she started that dance, somebody should have called her that, mm -mm, don't go there, do it this way. We're the one paying the price. She ruled the price. She has yeah. Yeah. So the thing is, if um, she's going to be punished, the organizers as well will be fined yeah. for that. So that when you're having this sort of... See, we all need to work together when we want to uphold morality. Mm -hmm. So we don't sit on one side, enjoy the view, and then come out and yes. start giving punishment. Yeah, right. So that, okay, because so of... Um, you know, because we discussed a bit of this hypocrisy, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of messages <laughs> on, on Facebook saying mm -hmm. that... Um, um, Sheyide said... Good morning, ladies. Don't pamper Tiwa Savage as an adult and chastise undergraduate because she's also an adult. And the, by law, no minor in a university environment. We did not. Nobody on this show pamper Tiwa Savage. Everybody here mm. stood against <clears throat> that act. Stood against the public display of something that should be private. So mm. I don't want this to be registered in anybody's mind. Like the ladies of the view supported or stood with her. We didn't. They wanted us um, to see that way. I, we, because all of us, to, we don't stand against. We are against it. Dario Lua Shefumi said, if you can stand with Tiwasabi, like a lot of people are saying the same thing yeah. that we stood. Ah. We did not stand with Tiwasabi. No, 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 no lady on okay. your view okay. stood with Tiwasabi. We didn't. We didn't. So we should address this. Go ahead. Paul Williams says, I don't understand this hypocrisy. The society has literally gone to hell. Morality is dead, and the kids not are the kids not product of society. Um... Fam Fab says, school or school or not school? Nigerians, Nigerian girls are bad all over the world. Ah. Okay, let me take Pastor Festus, our final call of this. Pastor Festus, are you there? Yes, I'm here. You're live. Go ahead, please. No, Pastor Festus, I'll be telling you from uh, Koko Edo, Edo City. Okay, go uh -huh. ahead, sir. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, what really happened is, see, there is no amount of uh, training, parents can train children mm. to university. Mm. We are talking of university. I was mm. once a student in the university. Mm. See, mm. Student can, uh, children can pretend at home. Yeah. You can train them very well at home. They mm. will never the good moral, good students, good uh, children. But when they get to university, you know, it's a it's mm. no mass mm. You know, it's a free place. You know, like they have free autonomy. Nobody's mm. controlling them. Yeah. Nobody's checkmating them. Yeah. So they do whatever. I had uh, an instance from Africa here. When I was in a for my age, I was in resident for that. You know, there was this uh, pastor children from Akukwedo. You know, past, the father pastor. Where three were brought up. So one of them came to the graduation. There were three. One girl graduated to Federal for the Renal Uchi. One, Ekboma, my school. And uh, the one in Ekboma, very decent girl. But before you know, on that level, she started going out with uh, boys. And uh, on one occasion, I think uh, they were just traveling, cooling in the side, leaving Ekboma to Akukwedo. And they go to our Jimmy Lee and they sit to 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 move. And when they were going, they got an accident. Mm. So that crossed them. And the boy died instantly. Mm -hmm. The young kind of man died instantly. She she was unconscious. And uh, they, they were able to get to reach the father, the father by the time the father got to our chief, then he 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 met the girl. But not up to find the girl to get passed out. So what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say here, there is no amount of prayer we can pray for our children that will stop our children, the one that will be great, not to be there. Yes, we have to pray that God will be taken care Thank you very much, Pastor Fessel. You're right. So you, there's only so much your parents can do. Yeah. But the truth is, I think... Uh, what, some, some you want, conversations... You, want this, you get any final comments? Okay, there's some this. conversations that are important that you tell the child. You, I used to be told that behave like a royal. And truly, you would never see in England that any member of the royal family want to go and do this kind of dance. You carry yourself, and any time you're in public, just like Bissi said, there are certain occasions that you carry yourself the way you want to be addressed. Yeah. So if you carry yourself properly, if, if you were Dangote's child, for instance, or somebody, or the president's child, and you climb table without going naked at a club, and it will make headlines. Mm. But if you're a nobody... You have you to not. make it. So, me. all this behavior, you carry yourself properly, for young girls especially. I can't imagine the amount of money that, you know, that was the price for this dance. Mm. You know, that's got to this boys. place. 
Final so you, the, yeah, you know, every, all of us as um, <clears throat> young Yoruba people will hear this, what's your moenti one she. Mm. Um, so there are two sides to that statement. Mm. What is meant for you to, that, that means, what's your moenti one she means remember the child of who you, ha, you are. So you are one, as a parent, you must make the right, <laughs> um, exemplify the right values for your children, mm -hmm. and then remind your children to live up to those values. So there are, that's I said, there are two, two sides of that coin. So parenting, you must exemplify right. P um, next level, remind your children to live up to the right things. And like the pastor said, at the end of everything, you just have to pray that they fall, fall in line with all that you have taught right. them. Mm -hmm. But I never did this, and it was because there was a serious drumming of what you must never do mm -hmm. in my life. Mm -hmm. So we also need to do that part as parents. Did they do events in your school where you needed to compete for they something? They do. Hey. I, was, I, I would have. We I all do the do the the <laughs> We do different things at a certain age because everybody is trying to explore. But the mm. only thing I'm going to leave with young people today is to remember the voice of your mother or your yes, father. Yes, when you are in excitement and everything, remember that voice and remember where you're coming from. That's it. But if you want to stop people from doing, mm, mm, we will do, we are young, we are growing, yeah. we are teenagers, you know, I'm still 16. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I think, um, I agree with everybody and I'd like, probably like to also echo what Pastor Fester said because mm -hmm. there's only so much you can do as a parent. You yeah. do everything right. Mm -hmm. And when you send them into the world, they're free. Mm -hmm. I was you're going with prayer. My own, I, I, yeah. I, I wasn't just left to school. I went to, how many 3,000 miles across the world? I was by myself. Mm. I, I was practically. I, I did everything. I wanted to do this. I wanted to do that. But the truth is that there's somewhere behind me. I you have a foundation. Mm. That, okay, you I came here for a reason, no? Yes, the, so. we, we, there was a moment you try to you, you, you test cigarettes. Mm. Yeah. You want to, because you're your friends. Cigarettes are like a normal thing. We will try. We try it now. We carry big we hands. Try. Put tops inside and go so for. So my uh, comment is that please. mistakes well, will happen. Did it. Yeah. Young adults. Would do miss you make yeah. a mistake. That yeah. young girl will see that video in the future and say, "Oh, it was an error. I was mm. just, I was, my mind was not, yeah. I wasn't thinking. Mm. I wasn't, I was, I was I'm under the of alcohol or something." Mm. So mistakes happen. I think what's important is that those of us who are regulators, who are the authorities, don't away the bath water don't the throw baby. the baby away mm. with the bath water. Mm. Let's understand that these young children will go through these mistakes, and they need but our job is to bring them back. Yeah. Mm. So let us not just throw out as they expel mm. her. No, no, yes, she has goof, no mm. doubt, but. Because she's still a child. She is. And she needs to finish school. So she it's important for us to, to take the right decision so that this person, at least at the end of the day, will be happy that she had real adults mm. to guide and protect her. Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we'll talk about another issue. Stay with us. We'll be right back.